everybody and welcome back to Theology where for Christmas, leading up to Christmas, we are going through different Christmas carols, Christmas songs and a new tea every day. First we shall start by picking a carol and the carol of today is In the Bleak Midwinter and I think based off the title of that song we can expect what some of my thoughts might be. We shall come back and we shall start by talking about the tea, which is chai. And this is the first time it said the type of tea on the packet. Chai does just mean tea. I would also like to say, I am not brewing this. I am not making this how you traditionally make chai. I've done that before. I don't have the time. It is a bit more time consuming. I also don't have milk. Still, I can't make chai. But it is nice because the flavors are still nice. I'm gonna pour it because otherwise it's gonna be really strong. Chai in it has black tea. It is an actual tea. Most of the time it is some sort of black tea from India or Sri Lanka, which is where chai kind of originates from as a thing. In India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Bangladesh, you have chai wallas, which are like people that they will go and they go, chai, kapi, 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 chai, kapi, kapi, kapi. And I love it. Tea is coffee, chai is tea. So they're going to a chai or tea, and then they have like the huge things. They have the things and they go like that, where they like pour it in between, and it like aerates it and makes it all fluffy and gorgeous and good and like, adds a nice little froth to it and then you have it with little milk. <gasps> I've got some, I'll be right back. You have it with Pali G biscuits which are like kind of crispy milk biscuits. Um, or at least that's how I was raised doing it. That is a lot about the tea. Let's talk about the song. Have I actually said what's in chai? So in this chai, a chai is like a spice blend tea. So it has cloves, cardamom, cinnamon, flavouring, um, star anise and ginger. You have different chai blends that have different things in them. Often they will have cloves and cardamom seem to me to be pretty big staples. Using whole spices, you can like just make it at home. You can make your own chai blend. But again, that takes time. But then if you make it yourself, you can control all of those ratios and things and then it's hard to be the homemade cup of chai. Also, there's also like a person on social media called Cross Culture Christian who also talks about faith and he his focus is on chai and he teaches people how to make really good chai. Go check him out, wonderful things. Um, but into the song, into In the Bleak Midwinter. This song, for accuracy to the biblical story, gets a two, because it kind of, kind of technically has a lot, but it puts it all in the setting of cold winters, Christmas, um, which is not biblically accurate to the story. We don't know when Jesus was born. He was from the Middle East. He was a Middle Eastern man or baby at this point. For theology, it gets a one and a half or two. I kind of had trouble because there isn't there isn't a lot. There's a little bit. So there's like worship the beloved with a kiss when the, his mother was there, which actually would not have been true. Um, that's another part where it loses lost points in biblical accuracy. It would not have been only Jesus' mother there giving birth to him. They were at Joseph's family, the family with Joseph. If you want to know more about Mary and Joseph and where they were staying and who potentially would have been there, I made a video about it. I will link it on the screen where it loses points in biblical accuracy. But going back to theology, it also loses points because there's not a lot there for the theology. In terms of pastoral ministry, it gets a two because kind of at the end has the, what can I give him, I am poor, all of that, but it's a little bit. It's just a little bit, it's not a lot, and it's kind of where the song ends, but it takes a long time to get there. And for the song in particular, the length of time it takes to get there is long. I gave the song a two for musicality because you can get some beautiful arrangements but oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it can be a dirge. It can be so, so boring to get there, like painfully so. And for bonus points, it gets nothing, nada, zero, because it literally, it's literally 
in the bleak midwinter. Like it starts cold, it starts in snow, it starts with that being where you reflect on the life of Jesus. Just no, that's not what I do. I think about Jesus' birth over my barbecue at the beach. I don't think about it in the snow. Well, sometimes I do if I'm ever at snow, but not at Christmas time. So no, there's no bonus points because it's even called in the bleak midwinter. It's not, it's summer, it's hot. That's my feelings of Christmas anyway. It shouldn't be about the season, it shouldn't be about the weather. I say, having just gone on about the weather at Christmas. But that's what I'm saying. It's different because there are different places in the world. Overall, it gets an eight. Thank you, I will see you all.